It's finally time to destroy capitalism. I'm gonna turn every person on Earth into a communist. This is pretty much our final attempt to win the Cold War. We're playing as the Soviet Union and the writing is on the wall. We're about to collapse. However, we have one final chance and that is to spread communism like a plague. And the scenario is actually forcing me to start in Mother Russia. I was kind of hoping we'd be able to take a Soviet submarine and just crash landed in San Diego. Then the virus can just spread from there. Interestingly, it's 1985 and in this part of the world, communism has already spread completely. This area is the last place that needs to be more communist. We will, however, have access to Soviet airlines to pass communist ideas to the new world. This is actually kind of funny because this is kind of how the Cold War was. Like We're just kind of trying to spread our favorite ideology through, you know, hearts and minds. Communism has infected its first human. Oh, we've already infected humans long before that. I guess we'll start this up by getting the beginning of a new age. We're going to begin to shape our host to share the ideals of his beloved political system. Now I noticed that first human that got communism was somewhere in like Siberia. Could we have started in a more populated area? Kickstopper raises record amount. Journalists rush to cover latest record breaking amount of money raised on. I guess this is a rip off of uh, what's that called again? Oh Kickstarter. Wow that was so obvious. I kind of wish we started off this scenario like by already affecting like a billion people or something like that just to have been like a bit more realistic. All of China plus all of the Soviet Union at the time and all of East Europe. It's believed one third of the world population that lived under communist states before the fall of 1989. I guess that would have made it a little bit too easy starting off with 33.3%. But the key here is they are not actively pushing communism as much as we want. So we're going to make these like hyper patriotic communists. These people are actually going out and spreading the word. This is going to be very interesting as we get to the late game because uh, countries are going to literally stop. They're going to close their port. Like we're going to start winning the culture war of communism so much that people are going to like lock their countries down. Wait, we're basically going to try to turn the entire capitalist world into their own little North Koreas. We're going to turn the West into the Hermit Kingdom and just spread that. Mother Russia celebrates the Festival of Love and International Kissing Day. Hmm. Well, that's good to spread, right? I was learning about the communist kiss. We need to export that to the globe. That's definitely one way to spread your uh, bacteria. Now, India was not communist. They were technically like a non-aligned nation at this time. We want to get to South Asia for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and get access to Soviet airlines. Wait, so anyone that dies, are those people saying basically better red than dead? They just like oofed themselves because they had realized <laughs> they'd become a communist. We're going to spread the word of communism even more. It's more normal to talk about it. Pretty sure it was really normal to talk about it in 1986. Nice. We got a boat headed over very, oh, that's, we're hitting Canada for sure. Not surprised about that at all. And out of all the places in America to hit first. Damn, okay, I'll take that. Let's go ahead and increase socializing. Makes the host, asks people to uh, grab a coffee or a lunch to discuss the word of communism. This is so funny. We're literally just gonna do this one dude at a time. Thanks to communism, vodka prices go down and people drink more. More vodka in the bloodstream and liver, less effective drugs. I don't think I can deny that science. Let's go ahead and increase socialization. Now, and technically, in order to win this, we just need to infect everyone. Some people can die, but we don't necessarily need to kill everyone. We don't even want to kill everyone. It goes against everything we're trying to do. Medicine in Canada, slowly uh, infection, slowing infection. What is the medicine for this? I'm not, I don't know. Is it Pizza Hut? Don't forget Pizza Hut single-handedly brought down communism, at least in the Soviet Union. We've made it to Norway, very nice. So that is a part of Europe that is not under communist control. So this is good. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if we could find some like KGB files out there somewhere locked in a vault. They probably thought about doing this or maybe even tried. There was all sorts of wacky ideas we were thinking about during the Cold War. We we're already deeply in North Korea. Oh, okay. Well, nice. We're getting uh, a lot further than just that. Now communism is beginning to spread around the world. Of, of course, we already have spread around the world by 1986, but that's okay. I'll still take it. We're going to have communists go out and actively seek new peoples to take them to the movies, restaurants, and bars. Are those all movie themed bars uh, and can't commun- Wait, what? Are those all uh, communist-themed movies, bars, restaurants? Finally, we have access to our first Soviet airlines, and you know exactly what country I'm going to hit first. And we're going straight to the heartland. Why is the only airport, like, in Oklahoma? Of all places, that's 
not what I expected, but okay, we're going to hit Oklahoma hard. Ooh, okay, we're, hold on. I think we just got it to West Germany. I think we officially made it to West Ger Germany, and our Soviet airline has officially landed in the U.S. Were they doing that back then? They were doing it before 1983. I guess it stopped for seven years there. Wow, okay, so we are really spreading all over the place. I'm going to go ahead and get this medicine vodka thing. I forgot to get that, especially since they literally told us that Canada is uh, stopping us. They've got good medicine. Time to drink vodka. You don't have to tell me twice. We've got a flight from a part of Russia that, uh, that maybe... 12 people live there. Where is another country that we, sh we should probably get to uh, Britain? Now, if I'm playing this as like a normal Plague Inc. game, I should be going to like Cuba, right? But Cuba's already been communist in this timeline for like 20 years, so we're just gonna not really worry about that. I'm making my own win conditions here, okay? We're probably gonna naturally spread to France, but yeah, I wanna make sure that we get to the UK for sure. They were really hammering away at the US. I mean, that's the big target country, obviously. One of the next things we can get a hold of is track down the scientists that are looking for a cure to communism and shoot them with a gun. Wow. Wow. Okay, here's a flight from, I don't know if this is Ukraine or what. Again, I'm not going to play this like a normal Plague Inc. game. Uh, I think I want to get to Australia, to be honest. Just because, obviously, Australia was not communist. But I'm worried that we're not going to be able to actually uh, get communism into Australia. We are already in some African countries. There's definitely African countries that uh, are communist at this time. We've already made it to India, so that's good news. I don't even believe that like uh, the world even really knows that we're spreading yet. We're just naturally spreading without any sort of identifications. And now the U.S. is spread. Oh, nice. We made it to Greenland. Okay, that is actually technically a place that we did have to kind of worry about because Denmark and stuff like that. The place that kind of worries me is the Philippines. I'm going to go ahead and get there real quick, especially because there's not even a cure that's been started just Jet. Oh, we made it to New Zealand. Good. And Brazil. Perfect. I think the last couple of, like, trouble spots is Madagascar, which we can go only get there through a naval flight, and then Iceland somewhat, but there's two ports still open. Again, no one's even closing their ports, so I'm like, it's almost like the world just wants to be communist. People that are not yet part will start to think the host is crazy. No, they will see soon enough. Uh, there, whatever, I don't know. And now we can make the host talk about communism literally all the time. Okay, let's do that. I'm not going to start shooting scientists yet because we don't need to start shooting scientists. Uh-oh, someone in Turkey found out what's going on. Oh, crap. That's not where I expected it. Turkey, really? That's fine, Turkey. We'll start shooting uh, Turkish people. Oh, wow. Okay, our infection, our infection is really exploding. Um, Where was the place that I said? Can, can I actually fly to Madagascar? Oh, yes, I can. Okay, yeah, let's go there. More infections in the common cold, which that seems about right. Okay, we have made it in... Cuba or the Caribbean. I'm just I'm just a little bit worried about some of the more uh, densely parts of Africa. We haven't hit Africa just yet. Communism is just another parasite. Scientists tell public not to worry about communism. Although unpleasant, it does not appear to cause any <laughs> symptoms in humans. It's going to be easily cured. We're going to see about that. Technically, we are now like properly a third of the world is technically a communist. And actually, this map is really accurate. We have all of Mother Russia. We've got China. We've got Central Asia. We've got the eastern part. Part of uh, of Europe, and then we obviously have followers that are in like capitalist countries, but they're just kind of staying quiet. Actually, half of the U.S. is communist. Never mind. Okay, maybe we're not. Well, we're we're definitely going beyond historical here. Kazakhstan is the first to instruct Kazakhstan. You're literally part of the Soviet Union. What are you doing? You are the last member of the Soviet Union. In fact, we've made it to Indonesia. I'm trying to figure out what I, where I want to use this flight to. We've made it to Iceland. We've infected everyone there. I mean, we might need to go someplace in Africa to be honest, just because I'm a little bit worried. That seems. Oh yeah, pop. Oh, we've made it to Papua New Guinea good. So they haven't even started working on a cure because there's nothing wrong with it, technically. So this is nice. They Okay, well, we are on the uh, World Health Organization's watch list, which is kind of weird, but why would that be? Okay, propaganda time. Let's do that. Germany has become the first country to limit the spread of communism by limiting access into, well, it's too late, Germany. First of all, half of your country is is already communist, East the eastern side. Severity is really starting to explode now. Wait, do we even have a way to kill people? I don't think, I don't think the wind conditions care about me killing people because there's nothing that even increases lethality. Okay, there is actually a cure now. I will start shooting doctors. What are they doing? Like, what kind of cure can you do for this? Are they taking us for, like, helicopter rides or what? Again, I want to spread to Africa because I'm getting a little bit concerned about parts of Africa. There are, there are times because deep into the Congo, it's actually hard to get into deep into the Congo or deep into the Amazon. We are, okay, the cure is really, okay, the cure is really exploding now. Okay, so we're starting to hold their families at, God, oh my gosh, this is getting really dark. Um, Yeah, we're going to really make sure those doctors slow down or else their families are going to get it. Okay, we just need to do this and then we have won. It's done, comrade. At least in terms of severity, it will be exploding. Still no uh, 
people saying better red than dead. I like that. Um, let's just take the last flight to the last region in Africa that I'm somewhat worried about. The cure is at 25%, but it should slow down pretty soon. Bam, let's get some points here in West Africa, and then, okay, bam. I'm just gonna hit with this, which is going to explode it, and I think that's gotta be it. I mean, oh, we're actually killing people now, which might be bad. Okay, there are people finally saying better better red than dead, and, and there's the death is starting to explode. Did we pass it on to enough people? That's my only concern. Like, yes, 95% of the world is following it, but it's gonna be really hard to get to the red. If, like, the deaths start really skyrocketing, Philippines is in anarchy. Okay, so that means that there's communist revolutions happening here, right? I don't even know where to send this Soviet Airlines to. I think we've got to everything. Global research. I guess I'll just keep getting this stuff. There's no healthy people in the world. Everyone has been infected by communism. Nice. Okay, well, technically, we've won it, according, according to my conditions. The whole world worships communism as their god and master. Efforts to uh, cure the plague have ceased, and humanity is entering. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, they've already... Um, it's it's it. We did, we did it. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, that was kind of cool. I'm glad that we didn't actually have to kill people, but there were a couple people that decided to off themselves at the end. They, they really wasn't down. Didn't want to be a part of the Soviet states of America, apparently. Dang, that was so easy. How did the USSR even lose? This is all they had to do. And big thanks to my patrons this month. Drew, je suis ton père de retour avec le lait regarde de Douchebag. Amateur oh, archaeology. Norwalk, Carmel S. Connor Pavlin. Cameron, Cameron, Cameron Edward. Frederick Tim. Henry Hedlock. Inquisitor the Series. Megan Underwood. John Kansas. Kirin Elizabeth. Girl. Zabby. If you the Mexicans, 760, 